Hey guys, sorry for the delay in the franchise mode video. I've been super busy with esports stuff, streaming, and like other hot content and whatnot. But I did not forget, I was having a blast doing this series, and I want to keep it going. So, just to get you guys up to speed where we're at with our Ottawa Senators rebuild right now, <clears throat> we are in third in the Atlantic Division. And we're at the deadline, so we had to make some decisions as to whether we should go all in, um, you know, just kind of dip our toes in the water, or, excuse me, if, uh, you know, if um, we should just hold Pat and uh, ride the wave out and see. Kind of mixed results here as far as the comment section. Um, there was uh, Ethan Bear, obviously, that we'll go through the trade block here, but Ethan Bear was an option, and we'll see uh, what we could do, and, or sorry, Bouchard was an option. <clears throat> And we'll go look at the trading block of what's available right now um, to upgrade. We don't want to just spend everything. Um, again, Lafreniere is doing very well. So obviously you want to build around him. <clears throat> Actually, you know what? Better option. Let's go take a look at our team currently. Just to give you guys a quick reminder as to what we got. So we've got Brady Kitschuk with Alexis Lafreniere and Mikhail Bodker. Obviously a decent first line playing Lafreniere on center as uh, he does have some decent draws, gives him more gives him more time, and he develops with Brady Kitschuk, so I'm all right with that. Then we've got Colin White, Nemesnikov, and Vitaly Abramov, JT Brown, Batherson, Anisimov, and Shlapik, Norris, and Connor Brown. Now there was some injuries. Let's take a look at the... Um, uh, there was, I believe there was some, unless we traded them, but we'll take a look. We have Shabbat on defense, 90 overall, Wallenin, and then CC with LaJoy, Gustafson, who we did trade for, and Tanev, better chemistry with it set up like this. So we are looking pretty good on defense, at least, and then in net, we've got Anders Nielsen and Robin Lehner as to why he was switched there. All right, so, and Robin Lehner. So our team is pretty good. Uh, but yeah, we can obviously use another forward, so we'll take a look at uh, what we can move here, whether it be some picks or prospects. Maybe we can pick up someone, you know, half decent here. Actually, let's do this, because we'll start up here. So, Opozo Hill, Georgiev, no, not really a fan. Lapierre, Weiner, nope. Reimer, Forsberg, Stahl, nope. Kajula, Taves, they want to move Taves in that $10 million deal. That'd be a huge get, but no. Uh, Gust of Nike was down to a 78 already at age 31. I'll pass. Uh, Dallas with uh, <laughs> Jason Robertson. Niagara Ice Dog, great. Wouldn't mind having him just because, uh, you know, big fan of the Ice Dogs. Red Wings, no. Edmonton Oilers. So Evan Bouchard, that's who we're looking at here. Because they want to move Bouchard, who is a top four medium potential, 21 years old, has got three years left on his two way on his on his rookie contract. It looks like, um, so we'll take a look here. So Evan Bouchard could be an option. We've got plenty of cap room, so cap really isn't the issue. Let's see what they want. Skaters matching the block. Anyone on expiring deals? Lejoy, who's an 82, but we're probably going to resign him. He's an 82 overall. Oh, Brandstrom, who is out as well. Logan Brown. Okay, that was what makes sense. Formington. Let's take a look here. He was a second-round pick in 2017, developing not terribly. 74 overall at 21, although hmm, top six medium potential. I wouldn't mind moving him for a better defenseman, to be honest with you. Then obviously, any other ones on expiring? Vitaly Abramov. Then we get kind of lower. But Formington's not terrible as far as what we want to use or what we could do to get rid of him. And maybe get Bouchard back. Now, I doubt they're going to do that. But I'm not bad with this deal. Again, Bouchard, look at those points in the AHL. <sighs> Medium top four. Hmm. I say we do. Let's see what happens. All right, so we got him Bouchard for Formington, so we didn't lose any roster pieces. And we're going to be able to use him, I believe. I mean, possibly keep him in the AHL, but even if we don't, that's fine. Um, let's keep going here. Let's see what else we can get. Let's see if we can't uh, look. actually just target some players. Go forwards. 
And we'll go down the list here. Philly. Anyone on Philly? Not sure who Frost. No. Pittsburgh. Actually, we'll just go with Skaters block. Matching the block. Just to be sure. Look at this. Philip Hallander. 2018 second round pick. Medium top six. Eh. Nothing crazy here. What are the Sharks looking to move? They really want to move Ryan Markley, who I'd love to have, but that's an expensive ask, especially if we want to go for it, right? Um, Fabry, no. Bozak, no. Tampa Bay Lightning want to move Sergachev. A little odd there. Might be a cap thing. Rasmus Sandin, they want to move. Woo, let's go. Anyone from the Golden Knights? Nope. Capitals, Alexiev. Nothing here, yeah. Nothing really crazy as far as to what people... Ryan Strom hmm, gets slap at 35 years old. Pass. Henrik Pollenville, sure. Silverberg, he's just a little... Like, at 30 years old, he's he's probably going to start regressing. And because our team is so young, I don't know if I want to invest in that. Soderstrom. Yo, Vakakainen. Top four medium defense. And again, that's another good... You, oh, another, another good X... Ice Dog. And Studnika, who did just get his first shot. Dylan Cousins. A lot of prospects, uh, you know, wanted to be moved. Three years left on that Jordan Stahl deer. I'd consider it. Although I wouldn't mind Brassard. Having a decent season. Not terrible, but... Let's see what else we got here. Blackhawks want to move. Taves, Vatnin, Shaw... Duncan Keith, yeah, obviously they want to move all these guys. We're looking for like that 83 to 85 kind of territory. You know, maybe an expiring deal. Hoffman might be an option. So Mike Hoffman, back to Ottawa. <laughs> I mean, Carlson's not there. So do we reunite him for a stretch run? <laughs> Robertson's got that huge trade potential. I would definitely go after him. Valtteri Filippola, no. Detroit has nothing. Broberg, what a great name. Delzato, Sevier, nope. I follow. Kovalchuk, bringing Kovalchuk for a year. How many years left on this contract? One year deal, Ilya Kovalchuk as an Ottawa Senator. Hmm. <laughs> what a meme, dude. I'm so happy the Kings goofed that up and got Kovalchuk. God, I hate the Kings. Michael Grandland. Now, this could be an option. I'd like to get Granlund. His ask is still pretty high. Jason Zucker's on a decent, on a longer deal. Eric Stahl as well. Maybe we can grab Eric Stahl. Nice veteran presence on that second line. You know what? You won a cup before? Let's give it a go here. Let's see. What would it take? Two second rounders for Eric Stahl. Huh. Not bad. Not bad. Two second rounders. For an 86 overall, Eric Stahl, we're going to take that. Yeah, we're going to take that all day. Don't have to give up any firsts. Let's take a look at the Canadians. Anyone they want to move? Phil Deneau, one-year expiring deal. I don't want to do too many expiring deals. That's the thing. Uh, Anthony Duclair, bring him back on <laughs> a $4 million deal. Nashville. Yeah, all these ice dogs. I would love to get Phil Tomasino. Oh, I'd love to get Phil Tomasino. Again, guys, this is uh, no trades found. Damn. That's uh, my bias. Love my Niagara ice dogs. Mayfield, Kings Coast favorites. God, Chef Wayne loves his Scott Mayfield. Nick Foligno is another guy we might be able to bring. You know, just that veteran, top nine presence. Hmm. Wouldn't mind Foligno. Savard, Pekka. Hmm. Who is this? Mark Kapanen, 50 overall elite medium for In the fourth round. What a steal that guy is. Jesus. 50 overall. It's going to take him forever to, to um, actually move up, though. Jaden Schwartz, Bozak. I don't know if he's in their center, though. Pouliot. Man, Pouliot never became it, and there was so much hype for him. 
And that's going to do it. All right. So we did get Eric Stahl. Uh, I'm happy with that. Let's take a look at the lines now. Um, we're going to get Brandstrom back, but we're going to move. Where can we move these guys? Let's take a look at the faceoff stats. 70 overall in the draw for Batherson. 79 for, okay, yeah. We're going to move Batherson over. And we're going to get rid of, hmm, definitely JT Brown. We'll scratch Brown. And skaters, we're going to put Eric Stahl in. Oops. <laughs> Connor, but this is the problem with having two Browns on the team. There we go. Okay, there we go. And then we'll put Eric Stahl in. And Connor Brown here. And the forward group's not looking terrible now. I mean, Eric Stahl is our third line center. You could do worse. And we'll move bad. Here we go. All right. Things are looking swell. Does it change the chemistry at all by moving any of these guys up? No. No. All right. No, I like that first line. All right, special teams. We want Connor Brown back in here. Again, we'll go for a nice little cup or a nice little playoff run here with Lafreniere. See if we can't, uh, you know, make something happen. We're going to have him in the shootout. We'll put Stall in, whatever. Doesn't really matter. Then for in net, we've got Robin Lehner. And what about the AHL? As we do have Bouchard, but he's scratched. Um, what's the defense look like? Oh, I wouldn't mind getting rid of Wallen and just play two games. Let's scratch Wallen in and put and put Bouchard in. We also have Demello though too. Hmm. Bouchard up in here. Let's see. Can he fit? Ah, we'll try him with Shabbat, see what happens. What's his shooting stats? Let's take a look. Not bad. Not terrible at all. And we'll put him on the... Uh, can we put him on the power play? Yeah. Okay. So there we are after the deadline. I don't think I need to make any other moves other than just like prospect stuff. Let's take a look at the AHL, who did win uh, the championship last year. Let's take a look at how they're doing overall. Um, they are... Fourth in the North Division. Hmm. Do we need to get them some help? I don't know. Force back at Carlson. Kubali, Klimchuk, Timoshov. What about in defense? What do we got? Ben Harper. Labushkin. What a great name. Uh, Renat Valiev. And then in nets, we've got uh, Hogberg. And Decord, who played very well. So, yeah, I'm not really too worried about the AHL. So, that's how it's going to go so far. And we'll move on here. And, again, we'll just take a look at the points for so far for the season. As Lafreniere does lead our team uh, with 54 and 63. Eric Stahl now becomes our second leading scorer of 53. So, that's a pretty big boost. We're going to, like I said, put him on the third line. Um, I kind of like Colin White. If Colin White struggles a little bit, maybe move him up. But, uh as among as rookie skaters, let's take a look. I would assume that uh, he is leading the league. Maybe not. Entire league. Yeah, he is leading the league by quite a bit. So Calder, front runner, we've got one at least in him. So it does look like it was good to go in uh, and get him. I actually just want to take a look at how many draft picks we have for next season as far as like first rounders go. We've got two first rounders. We've got the Dallas Stars and our own. Uh, and then a two, a couple thirds, a couple fourths. So that's not bad at all. Um, where's Dallas sitting in the... And they're first. That sucks. We might want to move that pick. Hmm. I wonder if I can grab... I wonder if I can grab Tomasino. Hmm. Probably not, huh? 
let's take a look. Again, this is totally biased, and just because, you know, we're playing franchise mode. You got to go after the guys you want. I watch Tomasino pretty much every home game for the Ice Dogs. I know how good he is. And, uh, yeah, let's take a look here. Where is Tomasino? Right there. That first round pick is going to be ugly. Although I don't see Dallas doing much, but here we go. Let's take a look. It would definitely be worth it. Let's see if we'll see if they'll take. Rejected. Okay, I can respect that. What about a th fourth? They want a fourth? Sure. Perfect. All right, first and a fourth for Phil Tomasino. I'm completely okay with that. <clears throat> Let's take a peek here. As he's still young enough. Is he still in the O? This is our second season. I'm just wondering if he's still in the O. No, he shouldn't be. He's on a contract. Dun, 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 dun. Where is he? Bill Tomasino. Nope. In the system. Right here, wave. Yeah, he is signed. Okay. Here's a question. Where can... Where is he? Was he in the end? NHL? I don't think so. Nope. Hmm... Am I just missing him? No. Okay, he's still down. That's fine. Okay. I guess I could just look at the <laughs> the icon beside the trade. All right, guys. So let's uh, let's sim. Let's get some sim in here now. So we did get Eric Stahl, which I'm pretty stoked about. We did get rid of that first round pick um, for Tomasino, which I'm all right with, and we are doing pretty well in the. Uh, standing so let's go to March and we'll go all the way down to this Pittsburgh game here actually no we'll go all the way up to April so let's see what happens now and Drake Batherson is injured that's okay because JT Brown will just fill right in put him in that's why we got JT Brown and Logan Brown is available perfect so, all right. Logan Brown is definitely who we want in, so. And Bouchard is injured. All right, so that lasted two games. Injuries starting to become a factor here, which is kind of frustrating, but that's just how she goes sometimes, walling in. Uh, we're going to put 79 at 25. Yeah, we're going to put walling in and... All right, Wallenin goes back in. I do not like him there, though. But, man, that's what the chem says, so we'll see. So we lose a couple here. Gustafson is injured, so now our defense is slowly being tested. Not what you like to see, as now our defense is looking much weaker, as DeMello's got to go in and playing on his off wing. That's not what you want at all. Can we switch that? Yeah, we've got to because he's negative three. I'll move him here. There we go. That makes it work a little bit better. Okay. Mmm. God, you love injuries in this game. So, back. He's back in. DeMello goes, which is fine. Sure, now in. And we'll go like that. Put him on the second pair and we'll enjoy. There's literally been a... <laughs> it's the one thing I can't stand about franchise mode sometimes. There's just so many notifications. I think on my next sim, I'm going to turn all that stuff off. As we get Drake Batherson back, which is a good get. Getting him back is key. And... No, that's the best here. As we've gotten... Uh, we went win... Or lost, win, loss. Eric Brandstrom is allowed to be back in the lineup, which you love to see. So... Let's get Branstrom back in here. 
And we're going to send down... We could do Bouchard. I think Bouchard's got to be the one to go. He's on a two-way deal. Okay, Bouchard's in. Brandstrom is going to replace him. Which is fine, as he is one of my favorite pieces in this rebuild. That was such a good deal for them for that uh, to get Brandstrom there for Mark Stone. I mean, Mark Stone is like literally one of the best players in the world. But, um, you know... That's all right. All right. And he's injured again. We're just going to head coach replace him. 6-2 win over the Panthers. Love to see it. Another win over the Rangers. And there goes our winning streak. Let's take a look at the draft class real quick. Anything, any big here? Uh, Brant, Clark, Othman, Gunther. We're not going to be in the position to get these guys. So possibly here... Iro Niemi, left winger. Mm, Simon Robertson. There we go. Luke Middlestad. That's a medium elite there. Potential. That's not bad. Eric Gustafson is back and available, so we're back in here. Get rid of Wallen in. Gustafson goes in. We're not going to put Shabbat there. OT loss to the Rangers. Shootout loss to the Red Wings. And... Okay. And we're going to send down again. As far as defense goes. We've only got one-way deals here. DeMello at 4.57 million. I'm completely okay. Maybe we lose him. And he got claimed. I'm okay with that because of the cap. I am completely okay with that. As he wasn't playing for us. He regressed quite a bit, so we're all we're all right with that. Branstrom's gonna come back in here. And things are looking wow, Tanev with a plus three with Gustafson. You love to see that. Five oh five four shootout win over the Canadians. Tanev's out. 6-2, loss to the Devils. Another win over the Blackhawks. So we're third in the Atlantic as we're coming to the end of the season. So we're third in the Atlantic. Let's take a little landscape here. Look at the landscape. So 43-27-9. We did clinch a playoff spot. Now we could get home ice against the Bruins, which would be nice. We're two back. I'm all right with that. So let's take a look and see. Can we follow 67 points for Lafreniere right now in his first season? It's not terrible. Um, leading the team, Brady Kachuk definitely didn't have as good a season as I wanted him to. But let's see what happens here for the rest of the season. As far as the AHL goes, we are in fourth, it looks like. So we're still okay there. Going to make the playoffs, it looks like. And here we go. Christoph Tanev's back. Of course he is. Wallenin's going to go. Tanev is in. And there we go. Get that plus three for Gustafson. A couple of big wins that game against... Oh, my God. Branstrom just stay in the lineup. This two back-to-back -back with Boston. And we win them both. We're going to take second in the division. You love to see it. As the regular season ends and these Senators... After our one year last year, a rebuild last season last year, not good. Finished low, did better than we thought, honestly better than um, we wanted. Uh, but unfortunately, we were able, or but fortunately, we were able to get Lafreniere. Let's take a look at the season stats here. So Lafreniere gets 69 points in 82 games. Brady Kachuk right behind him with his linemate 65 in 82, just missing the 30 goal mark. Eric Stahl finishes with 64 trade deadline acquisition. Anisimov, 61 and 79. Bodker, a 60 point season. Colin White, just short of a 60 point season. Connor Brown, 53 and 82. And played 82 games. I'm all right with that. Nemesnikov, 47 and 82. He's someone I kind of regret signing because he's got a decent deal. Shabbat, 46 points in 82 games. That's, uh, that's a little low. That's not what you want to see. Josh Norris, 38 and 82. And then we go down here. Brandstrom, 19 and 46. The dude just could not stay on the ice um, let's take a look at our goaltenders here 
as Laner goes 34-24, playing 69 games with a 9-11 save percentage, 2.77. As Nielsen in the back of 18 games, 9 9.21 save percentage. You love to see that. Completely okay with that. And we'll go and take a look at the entire league and see if we got a Calder. I think we do. As far as goalies go, we've got Con Carter Hart with 45 wins. Um, as far as the Vesna goes, though, it looks like Anderson might eat it out. He's got 44 wins with the shutouts, 9.15 save percentage, so he looks to be the one there. Defenseman, Eric Carlson, 83 and 77. John Carlson, 80 and 71. Doughty, Yandel, and yeah, so Shabbat really not doing um, all that well when it comes to defenseman scoring. Then in the scoring race, yeah, McKinnon, Sagan, Ranton, and McDavid, Landis Cog, that whole Colorado line. And we've got Kuznetsov is Lafreniere is way down here. So when we go and look at rookie skaters, Lafreniere does finish well above and will win the Calder over uh, over Zadinov. Uh, uh, Valerie Kegorodov, great name. Eno Markinen as well. And then Jordan Tiger and Turcotte. Josh Norris also coming in the top 10 as far as scoring goes. So that is going to do it there. Um, let's take a look at the playoff trees. We're going to play Boston in the first round. We've got Nashville and the Avalanche, Dallas and the Canucks, Coyotes and Edmonton, Sharks and Flames. And in the East, we've got the Caps, Penguins, Flyers and the Devils, and then us against the Bruins. And then, nice, Toronto versus Buffalo. You love to see that. Absolutely love to see that. And then let's just check the age out real quick just to be sure. Yeah, we did secure a playoff spot, so we'll wait for that. As uh, Yeah, that's going to do it for this. We'll get into the playoffs on the next episode. So thank you guys for watching. I'm kind of curious to see how this run goes. Our first time in the playoffs, although we've got to play a pretty good Bruins team who just kind of fell in to the playoffs. We won we a back-to-back -to, -back, um, to take home ice advantage, so hopefully that means something. Um, but let's see how these young... Ottawa Senators doing the playoffs in the next episode. Thank you guys for watching, and uh, I'll see you next time.